Right, hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So, as a ton of you know, uh, Phantom Force has added a new update known as the Pacific Cold Front update, which contains a few new guns, new map, new melees, new attachments, new conversions, etc. There's a lot of stuff to cover. So, with not much else to say about the, the, the intro, yada yada, let's start with the guns. They have added three new guns to the, uh, to the game. Um, the FT-300 sniper rifle unlocked at rank 160. The DT-11 Pro Shotgun unlocked at rank 133. And the GSP Pistol at, unlocked at rank 131. The FT-300 sniper rifle is a little special because of the fact that it has a lot of customizability. Um, though most of these attachments aren't very useful, there are special stocks that make you able to not have any steady time. Like, you have permanent steady time in your scope, which is cool. Um, there's integral suppressed barrels, there's a long barrel, there's uh, four different conversions for the gun. Um, I personally wouldn't use any of the conversions. Yeah, no, the 308 conversion, because it makes it able to one-kill torso up to 132 studs. And with the marksman kit, you can get 10 bullets too, which is kind of interesting, because it becomes like a slightly weaker intervention, in a way, you know? Which is cool, with 10 bullets. I like it, it's a pretty good sniper rifle. And next we have the DT-11 Pro Shotgun, which is just your ordinary double barrel shotgun. Which, it's a little special considering the shorter the barrel, barrel, the faster it reloads. So you can do whatever you want with that. Um, yeah, it's up to you, alright? And the last gun that they added is the GSP Pistol, which is unfair. If I gotta keep it 100 with you. It one kills headshots up to like a hand, no to 80 studs, it's semi-automatic and doesn't have enough recoil. Like, it, it just, it's just very good. Um, you can use Excedent Mag if you want, use Muscle Break, whatever. It's it's not very important on what you use. I mean, it one tap set anyways, you know? But that's the guns, a quick cover of the guns, yeah. Next up, we have the new sights added to, to the game, which is the OA, OEG scope, the TA-44 ACOG, the Cobra EKP sight, the Microdot Mini, the Microdot SRS, and the hand solved Z24. I'm not gonna state my opinion on these sites considering their site. I don't really care. If you like the site, you can use it. If you don't like the site, you don't have to use it. And the new conversions that they have added to the game are the 2545 Sharps conversions to the M4, M4A1, M16A3, and M16A4, which gives you 20 rounds faster reload, more penetration, more range, better headshot uh, um, multiplier, but slightly worse recoil. And there's also a very similar conversion to the C7A2, which does the exact same thing, except adding better range. More new attachments are the new shotgun attachments, which are the chokes and the duckbill and the diverter and whatever. So we have the improved, modify and full choke, which uh, all increase or tighten spread in their own specific ways. It's a little iffy to explain because they reduce muscle velo velo velocity, which in turn makes spread worse, but they also make choke lower, which makes spread better. So I'm not. And there's also the paradox choke, which increases muscle velocity, but makes choke worse. So I'd say the paradox choke is very useful for shotguns with slugs and stuff like that. Duckbill and diverter. The duckbill basically makes the spread very horizontal. And the diverter is a more extreme version of the duckbill, if I've understood correctly. They've also added a bunch of new melees. The SEL trophy for the winners of the of SEL season one. Congratulations to Gang, I think it was. Um, Tanto, Kunai, Kama, Starless Fun Post, Kershinai, and Uchiwa. I probably butchered those names, but you can all see what the melees look like because I put them up on the screen. There's also a limited time melee known as the Flame of Olympia, which you can simply get by opening cases right now. Um, they have also added a new option known as Scope Direct Angular Input, which is a little interesting. Um, simply put, um, you can look behind you. So the easiest way I can show you this is you need a scope, all right? With the two excite and just aim, look up. Just keep looking up. Oh, wait, I'm looking behind myself now. Oh, I'm looking upside down. Yeah, that's basically what it does. It's supposed to assist you aiming, like, over you. That's all, really. They have also added four new cases. The SEL case, which is a case for the competitive league. The Pacific case, which is... Uh, theme case for the new update. Um, the topograph case, which is one of the better cases 
so far, it, and a rainbow case, which is a pride case, basically. Um, yeah. And the last thing they have added to the update, they have added a boxy buster conversion known as Elite Dark, but it one types torso. And it reduces muscle velocity. I think it's good because it one taps torso. I don't know why they would add this now, but um, the worst gun just became slightly better. But yeah, this video might not be 35 minutes like those other update videos, but it was some new stuff. It's only part one though. There's going to be new stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, press the like button. Hope this video informed you. Oh, and I forgot to tell. It's There's a new map known as Derrick, if I didn't already say that. Um, yeah, it's, it's like rig revamp kind of yeah if you guys enjoyed this video press the like button buy my machine if you don't have any and i'll catch you in the next one see ya love you Mwah.